Let's talk a bit about Ethereum. I do know that uh, Bitcoin is what everybody's talking about. Right now it's trading at uh, almost $23,000 per coin and it had an amazing push to the upside. But technically, I think uh, we've seen the best out of Bitcoin, at least in the very short term. That's why my focus is on Ethereum and that's what we're gonna talk about in today's market update. All right, here are Ethereum prices. And as you can see here, uh, sorry, Bitcoin prices. And as you can see here, we had an ascending triangle pattern or if it's not an ascending triangle, it's just more of, of a traditional triangle, uh, which would be something like this. And we had that push, you know, we had that push to the upside. So how do you figure out the target here then? Well, uh, you can take something like the base if you wanted to like that. So that gives you uh, about a $3,000 move. 3400 to be exact and then you just put this to the breakup point so you can see we are already at that take profit level so it does not make sense to buy here uh, because we already reached target of course you know if you if you zoom out long enough you're gonna find a lot of different other patterns that you maybe want to trade uh, you know there's some some other patterns there are a bit like this where you look at this as a mass massive pattern and this is something we discussed about in the past um, you get a bit of a different targets at that point. Like if you take to the base here, yeah, we're gonna go up some silly amounts. You know, we can still go up a bit higher. Uh, you know, we can go to something like this. So, but let's look at this, like from from our perspective. So, if we want to trade this from now, and we'll buy here, for this to go up, uh, that's just a for the for to reach that target. That's a thirty three percent profit in Bitcoin. Which you know it's it's okay. Thirty three is awesome, uh, but let's take a look at Ethereum, um, and then we can you can make up your own minds. So here is uh, not necessarily ascending triangle either. This is more actually of a of a normal triangle, and we have that there. And then here as well, we can take something like the base, and you can see that we can go up with what twenty six percent. So that $131 per coin. So that means that we still have that unmet target. Plus we have these highs that are currently supporting price. So here in the very short term, as long as you trade above uh, this level here, which is $613 per coin, this is gonna be a bullish trend. And here, ideally, we already had a correction, you know, that's the thing with markets, you need to be on top of things, especially something like cryptos because they move so fast. But here, for example, just to give you an idea, if we would go down, so say we were lucky it goes down a bit more, ideally, of course, 613, sorry, this level here would have been the best entry, 623, right? Around that, like 627, that would have been the ideal. But say we just go down a little bit and then we manage to get involved, then we're suddenly looking to potentially make uh 14% which is about half of what we talked about in uh, in bitcoin but then the risk would be about 4% here on the downside if we would buy here so the just from here from the onset this looks actually better from a risk reward ratio perspective now remember this was based that the 33% gain in bitcoin was based on the idea that you know we're going to hit that high here which is the uh three thousand thirty thousand five hundred and fifty one dollars per coin now that again it's a bit exaggerated here we're just looking at the beginning of a corrective move here so if i take a fibonacci here you can see that if i'm just going to clean this up if we just go up something like the to the first level here to, to the third level that would be uh, a 52% move. And if we go up to the prior all time high, we're looking at 136% return. So you can see from those perspective, me personally, I think the money is in the smaller coins. Now Ethereum is not a small coins. They're even smaller coins even. Uh, I traded Ripple um, and I bought down here 
I was lucky enough to buy around here around $26 per coin and then you know I got out around uh, 45 or something like that. I got out somewhere here uh, so got I got about a 50% move or something like that something silly uh, in a very short period of time because what happens and normally because Bitcoin is so big and it's unrealistic that it's gonna double it's not gonna do it's not gonna go to 44,000 just like that but if it would go to 44,000 what's gonna happen with uh, ripple what's gonna happen with ethereum that's what is interesting and with and, and if we go to that target uh that we talked about in bitcoin so if we do go up to something like as i said uh three thousand uh five thirty thousand five hundred and fifty one then yeah we'll probably go up to the third fib here in in ethereum so then you're looking at a 51 percent return so it's better 51 versus 33. here as well as i just mentioned the potential loss on this one is 5%. In Bitcoin, where are you gonna put your stop loss? It's very difficult because the last major low in Bitcoin is down here. It's down here. That's sort of the last major low. Let's see if I can highlight that level. That will be 19,000. And I'm not saying we're gonna slide with 17% of Bitcoin, but if we would slide for 17%, then it wouldn't be a biggie. You can, of course, if you always wanted to, you know, there's smaller patterns. You can flip to one or a chart and try to figure this out. Um, but then you're dealing with levels that are less important. The more and more short term you go, the more likely is it that the level you pick, like you could pick 22,302 as your stop level, but that wouldn't be the best level. It wouldn't be the best level because we can easily spike below it and then push upwards. So that is really important to bear in mind. Okay, guys, this concludes our market update. So you know now what's going on with Bitcoin and you also know what's going on with Ethereum and why from a technical point of view going upwards. The number one reason, of course, for this uh, to go up with to begin with is, of course, the, um, the move by PayPal making cryptocurrencies more mainstream. Okay, I hope you'll enjoy the video. You guys have a great weekend and let's see what happens, right? Uh, when, uh, well, cryptos don't sleep right so we might see some action already this weekend uh, but let's see what happens over the next couple of weeks if you have any questions just pop them in the comment box and i'll see you guys soon